been able to remake ourselves. These are the words of the father of our nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi. The moral universe was a steel faction and his weapons were truth and non-violence. Born on 2nd of October 1869 in Porbandar, Gandhi was a lawyer, a political ethicist and a nationalist. His father Karamchand Gandhi was the chief minister of Porbandar and his mother Putlebai was very religious and fasted frequently. Gandhi's birthday, 2nd of October, is commemorated worldwide as the International Day of Non-Violence. India and the rest of the world fondly remembers him as Mahatma, the title bestowed to him by the poet and Nobel laureate Rabindranath Tagore. He never wished to attain a kingdom of heaven, but wanted to make this earth a better place to live in, changing the people's perception. His teachings are relevant even now and have the potential of transforming the lives and mindset of the generation Z. So friends, let us watch through the short documentary on how the lives of three children, Nekra, Mukhi and Karna were changed by the teachings of Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Pen drive must be my favorite show. Papa must have uploaded it and sent to me. Nepra, you're a couch potato. You can keep watching anything. Who will watch this boring old man? Mukhi, for a change, why don't you keep quiet and let us watch? Okay then, I'll watch with you guys. Come, let us embark on the journey of Mahatma Gandhi's life. Mohan Das, aged 11 years joined the Alfred High School in Rajput. One day at school, an educational inspector, Mr. Giles, came for a surprise inspection. Good morning, students. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. Today, I will give you five English words to write. Everyone will write them correctly. Get ready. The first word is rock. Gandhi was not able to write one word. Everyone wrote the correct spellings except him. Why didn't you copy it from my friend's head? Were you not able to understand my gesture? Teacher, I understood what you meant. I feel that is not right to cheat. So.
Babu was a firm believer of truth. At a very young age, he decided that he would not use any unfair means. He believed that the path to any kind of success cannot be paved by copying. Since his childhood, Gandhi loved the stories of Shravana and Raja Harish Chandra. He wished with all his mind that he too, like Harish Chandra, could have the strength to face every danger and difficulty in the pursuit of truth. At the age of 13, Mohandas was married to a 14-year-old Kasturba Makhanji Kapadia and had four sons from her. He wanted to become a doctor, but keeping in mind the Vaishnava and his family tradition, it was required for him to qualify as a barrister. Gandhi then joined a law college in London. He returned to India in 1891. His mother had died in his absence, and his family kept this news from him. He also discovered that the barrister's degree was not a guarantee of a lucrative career. In 1893, he accepted the offer of a year's contract from an Indian firm in Natal, South Africa. You know that Gandhi had gone to South Africa with the intention of staying for one year, but he actually spent 21 years. During this stay, he was exposed to racial discrimination practice there. Once, while traveling to Pretoria, he was unceremoniously thrown out of a first class railway compartment I left shivering and brooding at the railway station. Yes, my friend, not only that, Gandhi was barred from hotels as they were reserved for Europeans only. These atrocities and insults heaped upon him made him decide that he could not accept injustice as part of natural or unnatural order in South Africa. In fact, the journey from Durban to Pretoria struck him as the most creative experiences of his life. Moreover, he founded the Natal Indian Congress in 1894. Under Gandhi's able leadership was born such a man, devotion to truth, a new technique for resisting adversities without rancor and fighting them without violence. Isn't it fascinating to know that it was Gopal Krishna Gokhale's request which made Gandhi return to India in 1915? Gandhi's first major achievement came in 1917 with the Champaran movement in Bihar. In the Champaran district of Bihar, the cultivators were forced by the Europeans to grow indigo, a blue dye, and this imposition on them caused untold sufferings. They could not grow the food they needed, nor did they receive adequate payment. On Rajkumar Shukla's request, Gandhi started with his survey, got arrested, and later the government was forced to withdraw the case against him. Indigo Commission report, Bihar and Orissa Legislative Council passes the Champaran Agrarian Act on 4th March 1980. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi is made one of the members of this commission. The Kachiya system gets abolished. Waves of happiness spread across miles as farmers no longer had to grow indigo or pay taxes and so the Gandhian era began. By 1920, Gandhi was a dominant figure on the political stage and made Indian and National Congress an effective political instrument. With his book, Hin Swaraj, Gandhi declared that the British rule was established in India with the cooperation of Indians and that survived only because of this cooperation. The atrocities of Britishers seem to be never ending, be it the round attack or the Jallianwala Park massacre, the list went on and on. On 4th September 1920, there came a revolution as an initiative to promote self-reliance, the non-cooperation movement urged the people to refuse to buy British goods and adopt practices like hand spinning and weaving. Was arrested on 10th March 1922, tried for sedition and sentenced to six years in prison. The political landscape changed in his absence and the Congress party split into two parts. In March 1930, Gandhi launched the Salt March, a Satyagraha against the British for imposing tax on Indian salt and a series of salt laws. The salt laws made it illegal for Indians to collect 
produce or sell salt. Anyone who produced or sold salt in India other than the British could be imprisoned for six months. Water. Salt is the basic necessity of life. We will organize a salt march from the Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad to the seaside village of Gandhi. Long live Gandhi! Long live Gandhi! Gandhi is going to march to the sea and make salt. Mr. Gandhi should know that it takes more than a pinch of salt to bring down the mighty British Empire. of the British Empire. I hereby launch the Civil Disobedience Movement. Bharat Mata Ki Hai! Bharat Mata Ki Hai! Following the Dandi March, 80,000 Indians along with Gandhi were jailed. The British had to eventually relent and so invited Gandhi to London to discuss reforms in India. With a simple act of standing up against injustice, Gandhi showed that by working together, we can make a huge difference. According to the Gandhi Urban Pact signed in 1931, Gandhi was invited to attend the Round Table Conference in London. Failure of the Krips mission and the Japanese threat were two important factors that led to the launching of the Quit India movement by the Congress. On 8th August 1942, the All India Congress Committee passed a resolution demanding immediate withdrawal of the British from India. Gandhi propagated the mantra, do or die in order to attain complete freedom. Gandhi, the day of independence on 15 August 1947, by not celebrating the end of the British rule, but appealing for peace among his countrymen by fasting and spelling the Jalka. Gandhi left the world on 30th January 1948. He was going to attend a prayer meeting when Najaram Godse, a fanatic, shot him.
Gandhi Ji's simplicity, from his clothing to his daily rituals. Look at the Gandhi Ji's teachings are so relevant, especially today, with so much going on around us. You are right, Asha Aunty. Forgive me for my bad behavior. You all are the future of the country. Be a Mahatma, awaken the Gandhi in you. Bura mat dekho, bura mat suno, bura mat bolo. The father of the nation, Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi, was an iconic personality. Gandhi's motto was simple living and high thinking, which he maintained throughout his life. His messages are a timeless contribution to humanity. His countless contributions to the country include his efforts towards erasing poverty, expanding women upliftment, ending untouchability, and above all, bringing Swaraj. Truly said my friend Kredil, Gandhi influenced important leaders and political movements, leaders of the civil rights movement in the United States, including Martin Luther King Jr., James Lawson, and James Bevel, drew from the writings of Gandhi in the development of their own theories about non-violence. Anti-apathy activist and former president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, was inspired by Gandhi. Others include Khan Ga Abdul Ghaffar Khan, Steve Bike, and Aung San Suu Kyi. The notable European physicist Albert Einstein exchanged written letters to Gandhi and called him a role model for the generations to come. And thus, Gandhi's teachings are relevant even today. Mahatma Gandhi is revered the world over as the most transformative and inspirational figure. His principles of truth, self-reliance and non-violence have inspired generations. Never before in history have the Gandhian ideals been more in relevance than today. The youth of today, all of us, need to preserve and protect the ideals of Gandhi. An engaging discussion was held by the students of class 7A and 7B of St. Mark's Senior Secondary Public School, Mirabad, New Delhi, India, on this topic. Now we take you to the venue to witness this event. Goods from our country, like uh, cars, anything, sir. So, sir, the profit will be there in our country and the mm -hmm. production of the country. So, you want to say we want to say yes. make in India, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, now, uh, the ones who are sitting online. Yes, sir. Sir, so, uh, some people are asking that it's like this like act, such as uh, the only that. Uh, the ball is in your court. So, the ones, the students who are sitting in front of me, what, what do you feel about it? Okay, Vedan. Let's start with Vedan. Yes, sir. Ma'am, I think this portal for the online students, uh, if you have something to say, you can raise your hand so we can have some conversation from online students. Uh, in my learning in our daily lives, that means we should gain knowledge. It is just not the bookish knowledge. Actually learn something and change ourselves for better. Right?
कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं अब तो हमें आगे बढ़ते हैं रहना अब तो हमें साथी है बस इतना ही कहना अहिंसा के पुजारी सत्य की राह दिखाने वाले इंसानियत का पाठ पढ़ा गया हमें वो बाबू लाठी वाले मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं अंग्रेजों के अत्याचार देख कुछ नौजवान उठ खड़े हो उन्होंने सिखाया कि जिंदगी तो अपने दम पर जी जाती है दूसरों के कंधों पे तो सिर्फ जहाज निकले हैं मैदान में हम जा हथेली पर लेकर अब देखो दम लेंगे हम जा के अपनी मंजिल पर उनकी कुर्बानी व्यर्थ नहीं गई ये देख देश के नौजवानों में और जोश जाग उठा तभी देश की आजादी के लिए एक नौजवान ने कहा तुम मुझे घूम दो मैं तुम्हें आजादी दूंगा जोश दिल में जगाते चलो जीत के गीत गाते चलो जोश दिल में जगाते चलो जीत के गीत गाते चलो जीत की जो तस्वीर बनाने हम निकले हैं अपने लहू से हमको उसमें रंग भरना है साथ ही मैंने अपने दिल में अब ये ठान लिया है या तो अब करना है या तो अब मरना है कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम मिलते हैं हम चलते हैं जब ऐसे तो दिल दुश्मन के हिलते हैं कंधों से मिलते हैं कंधे कदमों से कदम